Alrighty, y'all, check it out. We are looking at some more big truck action, and it's going to be a little different. I think a lot different, actually. This is like Decatora trucks in Japan. Sounds crazy. I don't know much about this, but the thumbnail looked pretty wild, I have to say. And this was suggested by a couple people on Discord and my Instagram DMs kind of all over the place. So thank you guys for that. This is from a channel called Custom Mind. It'll be linked down below as we're only going to browse through here. You can watch the whole thing uninterrupted with the link in the description. Let's go, guys. Let's see some custom trucks in Japan. Look at that right off the bat. Oh, look at that one. Whoa. Oh my God, that is so wild looking. Really interesting sound on that too. Uh, uh, this is going to be a great video for comments. Your thoughts on these, maybe some specs or just, you know, certain trucks we're looking at. If you know anything about them, please share. Uh, great mural. Uh, it looks like a cool, like, is that Mount Fuji? Or at least some sort of mountain off in the distance. The I don't know if those are tigers right there. Damn, this is wild. And uh, the bodywork, like what? The lights? I love it. That is just like insane. <laughs> oh, look at the underglow on that one. Really cool. See, custom trucks I see in the US. Oh, I love these. Those are those little uh, K trucks, yeah? I want one of those small trucks, they're cool. I see them in the States sometimes, we import them. Look at these, the lights, look at the lights on that. <laughs> that thing would give Las Vegas a run for its money. That is insane. Oh my God. That is so crazy. Look at that. Oh my God, the lights are unbelievable. The bodywork, and then of course the paintings on the box is amazing. Look at that funny looking car. Wow. Japan is very, very interesting when it comes to customizing vehicles, I've learned. Wow. These must take a lot of thought and a lot of time to install all these lights. I wonder what the inspiration is behind some of these builds. They're very interesting. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that mural. Oh, my God. I was going to say, we have custom trucks in the United States, but they're usually just like a lot of the amber lights and a lot of chrome. Uh, not quite the bodywork like you see here and not quite the extensive amount of lights, different colors too. That is just insane, man. <laughs> Even like the front logo lights up on a lot of these. And I love like, they just have, they're very unique. I don't know how I've never discovered this before. It's so cool. Now, this is going to sound like a dumb question, so please forgive my ignorance. Obviously, these are custom and very interesting. Uh, you can appreciate the work and thought and creativity that go into these. Uh, but from a, a regular standpoint, like, are these used day to day or, you know, on a, a decent basis for hauling stuff? Or are these so custom that they're basically just for parades and shows and things, and they're not really used as a work truck uh, a lot. You know, that I, that's like my only question, I guess. If they are used, then that's really cool. They're just decorated really fun. How can you argue with that? <laughs> Look at that. Oh, my goodness. I have never seen... I, I've seen a lot of weird vehicles in the U.S., but... Nothing quite like this. <laughs> Look at that one. What is going on on top? Look at those. What? That one was that one was great. Some are a little more subtle. They got some good lighting and some underglow. Got some chrome. 
I got to say, though, some of the trucks I did see at, um, well, I've only seen one. I'd like to see more. I saw one video showing some custom trucks in Europe, and uh, they were actually pretty cool, too. They had some amazing, like, airbrush murals on the side as well and some cool color schemes. Like, I remember the purple Scania, I think it was, uh, that we saw in that video. Like, I honestly, those are pretty damn cool as well. So it's not really about who's better. This is different, but very spectacular. And that was different in its own way. And uh, equally spectacular. It's kind of cool. But these are definitely unique. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> That's a lot of lights. You ain't going to miss that one. You might be able to see that from space, I reckon, yeah? Look at that. What is this? It's so small. Look at that one. Look at the light show. Oh my God, it has light up wheels. Oh, there you go. I love the light up wheels. Look at this. Look at these ground effects. <laughs> they almost look like something you would see from a cartoon or maybe I should say like an anime, right? They look just so decorated and so the proportions are so wild on some of them and we even have a small one this is one of those small trucks and it looks like a big rig oh that is so cool <laughs> that is so cool wow i love this this is fun wow kids would uh my kids would love seeing this like in person this would be like a fun show, yeah, like a truck show like this. Really cool. Ooh, I like the, uh, look at that steering back there. Not two, we got four wheel steering in front. Really cool. Ooh, ooh, look at, we have a bus. Now, not decorated, but I always, I, I'm gonna, of course, if you can imagine learning about trucks, we're still in the beginning stages. There's a lot more to discover. Uh, but, of course, this is going to roll into, I want to see, like, buses, garbage trucks, um, you know, like, school buses. I don't know. Just any heavy machinery is kind of interesting. And uh, it would be fun to learn about different machines and vehicles from around the world because they're all a little bit different. You know, seeing ambulances, seeing uh, police vehicles, all these different things from around the world would be really cool. So, yeah, I will look at buses soon. But there we go. That's uh, presumably some sort of bus in Japan. Maybe it's domestic. Domestic brand. Wow. Look at that on the back. Wow. Ooh, we got another one with uh, lit up wheels. <laughs> That's too cool. Wow, look at that. Oh my god, that is bright. That's like a Oh, hear the exhaust? What is that? What is that motor? Look at these. Uh, these are crazy. They're so cool. <laughs> oh, that van is awesome. Yo. What is that? Is the license plate lit up? That's, that's too cool. another modern minivan that one doesn't look too different oh what is this that's cool here's some bonus get some bonus uh unique japanese cars look at that i'm ashamed i don't know what these are these are really cool though wow <laughs> Look at these little things. Oh my God, I can't get over how crazy these are. Look at the lights on that. <laughs> this is awesome, man. I swear, you'd be seeing these from space. Oh my, dude, you can even see in the interior is probably wild on these. That was so decked out on the interior in the cab. Oh, wow. Yo, that is something else. I'll have to learn more about these, what goes behind making these and stuff. I mean, this is super cool. Great suggestions by you guys. 
All right, y'all, we're going to end it there. We did skip around, so please make sure to check out the full version uninterrupted and browse their channel with that link in the description. Uh, this was really refreshing. <laughs> this is wild. I'm always amazed learning about different uh, trucking styles and the different brands and engines. And then uh, when it comes to custom stuff, that's even more kind of wow, like eye-opening. And uh, from anywhere in the world, but especially here in Japan, I mean, they just went all out with these trucks. The bodywork, the lights, the colors, the murals, the paintings, the just, it's crazy, right? Super, super cool. I love how there were some big trucks, medium trucks, and then the bite-sized trucks, the little ones, right? Really, really fun. And uh, this was this was a blast. I enjoyed it. Tell me your thoughts below and anything you would like to share if you know anything about these trucks or people that have built these. And uh, of course, let me know what you want to see next. Throw a like on there if you enjoyed this as much as I did. Of course, subscribe to be part of this amazing community. We are right at 100K's heels. We are right almost at 100,000 subs. I cannot believe it. You guys rock. My name is Ian. You're watching IW Rocker. Until next time, y'all. Catch you later.